good day. In today's demo, we are going to demonstrate the electrocardiogram. Uh, this procedure allows us nurses to identify disturbances on the patient's uh, cardiac status and monitor the effects of the medication, um, give information about the size of the uh, chamber's heart, and aids in diagnosing uh, complications in, uh, for myocardial infarction and uh, pericarditis. So this procedure needs to uh, have the ECG monitor, the machine, the ECG strip or paper, the electrodes with gel, and of course the uh, God pad. We need to identify uh, the review for a patient's medical record for order of uh, ECG electrocardiogram, assess the cardiac status of the patient, uh, keep the patient away from the electronic uh, electronic conductors, and in inspect the patient's chest for the uh, skin irritation and skin breakdown. We need to verify the order now to the patient's medical chart for the uh, electrocardiogram. Uh, we need also to gather the equipment needed at patient's bedside to prevent, uh, to save time and effort. And we need also to uh, perform hand hygiene by using by the use of alcohol. Uh, then of course we need also to identify the patient by uh, checking the name tag and asking the patient itself. And of course we also need to um, close the doors and or curtains and provide for, for client privacy uh, for him not to be anxious about the procedure as the procedure will expose half of his body and explain to the patient that this will that this procedure will uh, is non-invasive and it will it will record his cardiac activity, the cardiac status of the, uh, the cardiac activity of the patient. And this will, uh, and the healthcare pro provider will uh, place uh, 12 bead electrodes on the patient's uh, chest and limbs, of course. And this procedure uh, assures the patient that the procedure will not uh, send send him uh, electronic uh, activity or the electronic current as this procedure is non-invasive and assess for the patient, ask the patient for uh, adhesive allergies. Then place the ECG machine at client's bedside or at patient's bedside to save time and effort uh, to there. there. Then, of course, we also need to um, adjust the level of the bed at a comfortable working position. And, of course, we must not forget to uh, the ECG machine must also be plugged on the power outlet. And, the of course, the patient must be um, positioned comfortably uh, to prevent uh, tension. And of course, we also need to um, promote uh, promote for clients' comfort and expose the patient's uh, arms and legs for us to uh, place the uh, limb electrodes. And of course, we must also need to encourage the patient to relax as this procedure is going to take uh, five minutes at most there and then after uh, we will now um, uh, implement the uh, procedure so now have uh, place the client at supine position and we also need to uh, Tell the patient to uh, to remain comfortably, and of course we we must uh, select the appropriate site. If the bed is too narrow, we must if the bed is 
if the bed is too narrow, we will uh, tuck the the hands of the patient on the beneath the buttocks to prevent shivering. And of course, we also need to um, select flat and fleshy positions. Avoid muscular uh, positions where you will place the electrodes. Then after, and of course, if the patient is hairy, do not shave the hair. Instead, uh, clip the hair, of course. And now that the, uh, the, that the patient is already set up, we will uh, apply the lead electrodes onto the limbs. Of course, we need to cleanse the site where we will place the electrode expose the areas there then after uh, we will uh, peel the electrodes and place it onto the limbs the for the right limb uh, for the right arm, uh, the, the electrode should be uh, the labeled as the red, the color red. And for the right, uh, right uh, lower limb, the right leg, it will be uh, black, labeled as black. For the left leg, uh, green. And for the uh, left arm, should be uh, yellow. Then, after we will connect the limb to the, uh, we will connect the limb, the wires to the limb electrodes, and we will now expose the patient's chest and cleanse it. Cleanse the area where you will place the electrodes, and of course, uh, the placement of the electrodes is also labeled. For the V1, it will be on the right sternal border of the fourth interior costal space, whereas the uh, V2 will be placed on the uh, left sternal border, fourth intercostal space. For the uh, V4, it will be placed on the mid clavicular line on, at the it will be placed on, uh, on the level of the midclavicular line and at the fifth intercostal space, whereas the uh, V3 it will be placed between the V2 and the V4. While the V5 it will be placed onto the anterior axillary line, and for the V6 it will be placed onto the um, Need auxiliary line. Now, now that the precordial uh, electrodes is now placed at the patient, we will now connect the uh, electrodes. There, we will now clamp the electrodes. There. Then after, of course, um, if uh, the this uh, procedure will be placed on the uh, or the standard speed, it will be uh, twenty five milliseconds, and the machine must be um, set to full voltage. So now, if necessary, of course, we must. Um, uh, if the enter the patient's uh, data onto the machine and of course we also need to ask the patient to relax uh, for him not to be not to uh, to prevent uh, tension and of course we also not uh, to I encourage the patient not to talk as this will interrupt the procedure.
Now press the auto button of the uh, machine as this will generate the uh, results. The 12 uh, lead electrodes will automatically uh, record the um, the cardiac status the there. Then after of course we must um, there. Then after we will now uh, of course if necessary um, if necessary adjust the waveform of the adjust the waveform of the uh, machine onto the the extent of the waveform of the machine and there then after uh, when the machine finishes the recording uh, it will generate a long strip where you will see the um, see the uh, status or the results there so and then after after this after uh, when the finish when the machine uh, finishes um, remove the electrodes onto the client from the client remove it and disconnect the electrodes electrode wires then now that the procedure is already through we will adjust the level of the bed on to the previous position lower the bed height and adjust the patient's head position to be comfortable uh, uh, according to his comfort and of course uh, clean cleanse the uh, site of the where you where where you place the electrodes and clean the ECG machine of course uh, as per uh, protocol of the agency uh, perform hand hygiene of course and remove additional PPE and of course sanitize always sanitize before and after the procedure as well as the used uh, equipment and of course uh, we are now through we will now evaluate for the uh, evaluate for the gathered data of course not for the quality of the ECG obtained and of course we also need to um, attach the ECG strip onto the patient's uh, medical chart and note for any uh, uh, note for the name, the date, and the uh, patient's name, the date, and the ECG uh, strip uh, obtained. Uh, ECG uh, obtained there. So now we are through. Uh, thank you.